In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a front CV axle in your Subaru Impreza. Using a 19 millimeter socket, I'm going to remove my five lug nuts. Then remove your wheel. Using a 12 millimeter socket, I'm gonna remove the brake hose bracket. Using a 32 millimeter socket on an impact, I'm gonna remove the axle nut. We're gonna remove the castle nut and the cotter pin. Remove your cotter pin. Using a 19 millimeter socket, I'm gonna remove the nut on the ball joint. See if it moves at all. If it doesn't, we're gonna have to loosen up here. I'm gonna hit it with a hammer. Hit this area on either side. I'm gonna use a pry bar and pry down on this arm to remove this. I'm using a Special hook to hook onto here. Pull down and get that out of the way. I'm gonna push inward on the axle and pull the knuckle out. And remove it. Using one quick motion, I'm gonna push real hard. I'm not gonna apply constant force. Oil can leak out of this when you take this out. Once you've broken that seal, go ahead and remove the axle. I'm gonna insert the CV shaft into the differential, making sure the splines are lined up. Once it's mostly in there, give it a good push in. Till it fully seats. Push the knuckle out, line the splines up, pull down on the control arm, line up your ball joint stud, install your castle nut, and then we're gonna to torque it down. Torque the castle nut to 30 foot pounds. And then you can go up to an additional 60 degrees until a slot in the castle nut lines up with the hole in the stud. Once you have the hole and the slot lined up, go ahead and slide your new cotter pin in and bend it around the castle nut. Install your axle nut. You can either lower the car on the ground to hold the wheel, or you can use a pry bar in the studs. And then we're gonna use our 32 millimeter socket and torque this to 162 foot pounds. Now we're gonna use a punch and punch into this little groove here so it can't back off.
reinstall your brake hose bracket. Put the bolt in finger tight. Go ahead and tighten it down. And torque it to 24 foot pounds. Install your tire. Put on your five lug nuts. Go ahead and tighten those down in a star pattern to make sure it goes evenly. Torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a star pattern. And I like to give them a once-over. And if they're still moving when you do that once-over, do one more. Once the job is completed, make sure you bring it to a professional to get it aligned. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.